So, what is the record on yesterday's map? I gotta check this before I go on to the Cup of the Day live server. 42-0, yeah. Oh, I'm 84th only. <laughs> I was just on toilet, was thinking, I wonder what position I actually have. It's really hard to judge. Did you do the, the cut and run? Yeah, right after Cup of the Day, I had this uh, surprisingly already successful attempt that was fourth place. Oh. Uh, basically, the time that Shorty got after 100 uh, and something respawns, I got okay. immediately. Okay. But my viewer, Haken, already got there an 8 tenth faster time. But the world record is now even 2.2 seconds faster than me, so... <laughs> So that was actually a lot possible. Also some people really hunted that, like the top record, the top five records are within five tenth. <laughs> Why do you hunt it so hard? Such a cut. That's crazy. So what kind of track is this? Well, it looks like uh, a lot of speed and mixed. Oh, there is no ice turn, is it? Or is it plat? No, it's plastic. Oh, I forgot to change title. It might be full speed even. Okay. Okay, so basically it's all decided in the bobsleigh. Not all. I wonder if we have the bobsleigh corners in front. As it surely we will do well. Oh, there's a risky finish. So that's too late. I'm pretty sure bo bobsleigh players will be uh, on top here. In Phil's videos I see many more bobsleigh maps. There's even a 10 minute bobsleigh map uploaded again. But this one we don't have to play Cup of the Day for sure. GPS. That's a good time. Let's see.
Good luck, my friend. <laughs> the blue bolt section is uh, exactly what I wanted to see. That's why I wanted to watch the GPS because this is always I always drive them wrong. These S turn transitions there. Like I went fully fo on the left. I thought it wouldn't work on the right, and then I ch looked at run, and I see he makes it there. <laughs> Crazy. That were also 180 frames lost. Hmm. Okay, half a second, the safe finish. Well, those bobsleighs are just so bad for me. to get some something I mean, it's not necessarily of the box lays also the parts in between thing is for me I always exit the box lay different and then uh, it's hard to get the same lines or the good lines an improvement but it's only 81st oh, yeah, yeah. and I need more of an improvement I 
Also I knew that this is surely not safe to run, but I really thought that at the time that I tried it now it would be the one. <laughs> This is the one by the time that I tried it, but will not stay. Oof. And yeah, this author time is also good, nobody has beaten it yet. And why do I have a leg issues? I also have some legs. Yeah, but I see them also in my OBS, so it's not necessarily an idea, I don't know. Also I see that I lose frames in OBS, always better legs. Also I teleport around. Yeah. That's what I mean with legs. No, I don't have those kind of legs. Oh, I just had such a good start. And then I messed it up. It's all in the bobsleigh for me. That's an important improvement, and with that I can hope. Now I also think I can list time in watching the GPS again. I want to see the start. Plastic. I was surprised that the GPS kept uh, encrypted. Mm. Bobsleigh part in the middle feels kind of weird, especially the right bobsleigh turn in there.
Okay. I wasn't sure if my old time would have stayed. But now I uh, definitely uh, get the one. Yeah, watching the GPS again helped me. I was losing a lot in this plastic part. Time. Oh, I cannot finish again. Okay. Fifth class. Try now. Put the two only. That far behind, considering it's a lot of box Times are quite close. Yeah, the thing is, compared to the full box maps, we do not have the super low speed box that already decides so much. Like the fast box yeah, corners, sure. uh, we will not lose that much to people like a trick, Catsy, and so on. But on these full box maps, they often just already super way after the first turn and have the more speed for the whole track. Uh, but the first box like here is, has some decent speed already. <laughs> Thank you, Maxi. What is actually to the right at the start? your controller, put down your controller and relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, record is taking a different line in the dirt at the end than the GPS. They yeah, often actually multiple ways work. <laughs> Still confusing. Also there's music to these shots here, but uh, yeah, I didn't put it loud in game. Always, if I watch those world record runs in uh, Bob's lay, uh, uh, I feel like they they look so bad. Yeah, sometimes they but have like a yeah. bad entry we will think and they wiggle a bit around and then it's still fast. Yeah. Yeah. So crazy. And they all, all have different lines and somehow every every line works. Yeah, and then you don't really understand what, what can you learn from this to get fast. <laughs> uh. Yeah, also Bob's is really a mystery, I don't know. I was actually once having a spam stream open at the site where he was trying to get the author time on the previous bobsleigh Slave map in the cup of the day. And uh, he struggled so hard. Like, it was so unclear. Like, after one turn, he was far behind his own PB. It was difficult to get his PB, but he didn't understand why. Like, he drove it always the same and completely different results, basically. <laughs> Also it's, it's generally it's just a big issue. Whoever that is, that just won the no elimination round. He is only fifteen thousands away from the from the author time.
Hmm. Ubisoft logged me out today. I had to log back into an email I barely used as I made Ubisoft's account a long time ago. Yeah, it's always an issue. I had the same. Join, uh, missed quality 11 minutes late. Yeah, beautiful. I had the same and it was during Corona that I wanted to change my email and I struggled to, to manage the email change. Maybe nobody was working for Ubisoft there. Wouldn't that be fully automatic? Changing your email? Or do you have to write uh, some guys there and they do it for you? I had to write guys. I, I don't remember fully everything how it was, but it could be that to change your email, <laughs> they uh, wanted to send something to the email that you had that you wanted to get away from, but I didn't have this email anymore. So when they, they, they cannot send something to me there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's so dumb. Yeah, you want, you want to get rid of an email, but to do that, they send you an email to the rest. Nah. But did you then still somehow need to prove that you're the owner of the old email? Uh, I don't remember exactly how this went. Sounds quite complicated. For the dirt platform, so after you exit the box slave from before, there is something sticking out. Is that a reset or what is that? Uh, look, I also passed it right now. It looked kind of yellow. Yeah, it looked yellow, and I wonder what it is. <laughs> if it makes a difference if it go over or not. I mean, the red things in the uh, in the box layer also first uh, thought it's some kind of booster, but uh, it's just some indication where you should enter the bobsleigh so maybe uh, the yellow thing is also some kind of custom block that has no effect What do the resets do? I've not seen any effects. Well, the resets basically get rid of the effect that you that your car currently has. After the reset, everything is back to normal. Oh my god! I just felt the ending and bobbled around, and I didn't see anything anymore because my cam just went crazy. And somehow I per perfectly jumped into the the risky finish. All right. Nice. Uh, we got an author time here. Just plays a trick, Bobsleigh player. <laughs> got the AT. Yeah, so that's the proof that uh, it's a Bobsleigh map. And the other parts are not that important. Uh -huh. But it mixes it still a bit. So down is also far up here. Also purple was doing good in some rounds I saw. Jan van Achter now winning a round. 
Oh. Also there are more there are more people able to challenge. Uh, do resets also get rid of wet and icy tires? There was one something where I was wondering. I, I cannot say it for sure, but I feel like there, I once had something where, where I could get rid of the tire effect as well. Usually, I, but it was long ago, and I don't know what it was exactly. If it, if it had something to do with the reset. I mean, so far, you know, I would say no, but I'm not completely sure. Could be yes. <laughs> And yeah, for this map exactly, that makes sense. Uh, there are custom respawns here where you have to get to speed, of course, with a double respawn with a standing one. And that is achieved with either red boost or seemingly in this case with a reactor boost. And this reactor boost has to stop at some point, so resets need to be put. Otherwise, the reactor boost would be then too fast. <laughs> So this is the reason for resets here. So you see them probably after every checkpoint. But that one thing it just looks so yellow that, that, that we're not so sure if it's a reset. But seemingly it must be. Okay, but it's on, also only like half of the road. Yeah. Yeah, I also miss it actually, always to the right. That's a bad one, 3.8 seconds, 4 seconds to red. Crazy. something yellow. But probably it's just a greenish reset. Just looks more yellow <laughs> in that part. But I also don't get a message that it's uh, resetting. So it doesn't have any effect I think. Does it do that on the other resets? Yeah for me yeah. oh oh I have a standing respawn now. Interesting. Oh, but the standing respawn per perfectly gives you uh, it gives you a very perfect uh, bobsleigh entry, basically. <laughs> At least ah. something. And is it f uh, a cut to standing respawn? Do you win the round? Oh. Well, if I can catch up three seconds now, maybe. I guess I'm out. Nah, with one respawn only. Yeah. What a surprise. I'm failing and I'm out. Whoa, oh, 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 oh.
Yeah, it's actually a reset block. Hmm. <clears throat> but for what? Where is the custom respawn? Yeah, I don't, maybe it works for the custom respawn then. To reset. I have to say this globe in the middle. Actually, I would need to look closer with it with Pim 7, but it looks crazy good. Can we notice it yet? Well, that's just in the inch wall and everything of this map. No. Oh, this one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's missing Denmark, but other than that. So. Well, there, okay, there is some kind of Denmark, it just is. has a different color. No. Oh. Hmm. And down, uh, but in front of Etrick and in front of Down. What is this round? I had my Marius issue, I got a bit of airtime in the dirt and it was not the correct round to do that. I saw 300s but I knew that uh, the speed might be less than whoever is behind me. And I knew when I got overtaken that it must have been close. So the airtime really costs you a lot of time, like only to the point 5, that is so far behind then. <laughs> Actually not a surprise that I got knocked out then. Ah, the, the sending respawns have a no steer, so you can't go around the uh, uh, reset block. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> the four red players are all a bit behind. Yeah, it was just a gap. Yeah, the run was not bad, but it really only takes a bit of airtime there. It's, it just costs a lot. I don't really need to see it. <laughs> but yeah, I have to also oversteer afterwards in the dirt. It was just. quite bad. Like the map is so easy otherwise that everyone is close together. I was actually surprised that for a long time there were already big crashes onto that section. Where did people crash? The cheese lava also had now one bad line, and you see immediately what that costs him. And yeah, this kind of airtime that is an effort too much. So, one guy is going out from this lead pack. Jan van Spike as well. Oh, Park this time. Yeah, Park is the one behind with a point 90. Also, now the times got already much better that you need. Still not my PB, but it gets closer. I wouldn't be. Allowed to be far away from my PB at this point to survive rounds. SPMX is a new name for me from South Africa. Is he winning today? First victory for a South African player. Or is he going out now because he had airtime at the exit of the wall, right? Surprisingly, he's not in red immediately. I expected him to immediately have much less speed. Oh, that looks, however, dangerous. He oversteered a lot to keep the grip. And there's one DNF by Clear Vision. But SPMX is now also not a good entry. He's in big danger. And he's out. And uh, orange place was a point eighty five, so again a bit faster. I 
I was super scared when I first saw that uh, risky finish, but it's actually quite easy. Yeah, I also never failed it. And still, I went safe finish when I had more than half a second gap. Uh. <laughs> so, now we have this guy, NXBLD, but he already won rounds. Whoever that is, but I saw there are quite some people with this AL tag. Hop is, is using it. Or is this Hobbit now? Did he change again? I know that also this Propan guy is using this AL. Also this is now a fight here. Pur yeah, purple, scroll. Oh, purple looks bad, Bibul is in X or D and F. Out with a point oh three. At least purple makes sure to uh, win the ties, if he ever gets a tie again. So, also a new name here. Lili... X... New... O3. I won't pronounce the team name, or the club tag. Battling for this orange place with two other players, or for yellow, orange and first red, basically. Oh, oh, that's gonna be tight. That's mega tight. Oh, Phantom has less speed. Big mistake. Free top eight for the trophies. Everyone safe. If you don't save now, you are Neve. Free six trophies for you. Kakna on orange at a point 77, that's close to my PP now. But it was just orange, not red. <laughs> so Quick has a point 70 as a match PP. And we see him always in the back after the beginning. Pace wise, it's getting tight for him, but uh, he's doing consistently decent rounds so far. But still, he might get knocked out with them. Runs always look pretty bad and look worse and worse the further we go. Ah, uh, Emlan, however. With a very, very bad line and low speed, and that allows Quick to actually survive another round here. But apart from that, it would have been really difficult. This uh, girl, the singer, uh, Emma Koch, also written KOK. Ok, 
Okay, so Quick needs better starts. He is in last, but he has a much better start than last round. At least he still keeps himself in distance. We have also Scrappy in still. Well, we didn't really see him too much yet. Because he was never really in danger. So is this over now for Quick? This strong part is the ending. But they are too far, it seems like. And he also misses the finish, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 66 was orange place now. And Quick would have done uh, point seven something. GeoWizard also uploaded a video lately uh, with GeoGuessr. Um, naja, street view parts where, where there was some. where you could giggle about the name of a city or something. Something written on a sign. But more interestingly is that Geovisor uploaded his first uh, part of uh, Crossing England in a straight line and also Archie uh, Field Towers, I watched both today. But they are doing it uh, uh, kind of competition again? Or? Ah, wait up for a moment, this is extremely tight and this is the favorite. Oh my god, out with 79. He was doing very good so far, but he's out in this close round. Um, yeah, they uh, I don't know if it's a competition, they are pretty, maybe, also, I think they started four days apart from each other or something like that, and the g that has some head start, yeah. but yeah, at least they are still, they are doing it both, kinda at the same time, and uploading it now at the same time, but what is weird, Archie, they are, went much further already in their first uploaded video and they kind of spoiled a bit about Geo Wizard already in his fourth day. So uh, it's a bit annoying now I'm already spoiled that Geo Wizard will definitely make it that far. <laughs> okay. I'm already thinking to uh, not watch uh, both on just Geo Wizard instead and then after I'm finished with him then go to, to the others. More speed for Scrappy, but it's not enough time to catch up. Weekly Shroom today. Uh, yeah, nah. I, I will play Desert. I want to finish the Deep Dip with Desert. I'm very close to do that. I need like three, four jumps and then I finish Desert. Deep Dip. Did you play the Cup on Sunday, Hagen? With the Italy community. Random tracker. <laughs> I think I wanted to tell you on Saturday evening. I don't, don't remember if you were even in the stream at some point. But yeah, let's have a look at this fight for the top three. I'm pretty sure that... Also, Premier definitely didn't win a Cup so far, I would say. But he is playing this random tracker. Kakner was in the final lately, but, uh, but he lost it. I think he also didn't win yet. If he overtakes Lingo here, maybe in the last one. Oh my god, this! Ooh! Lingo even won the round. I prime I lost a lot of time, but it was not enough for Kakner to get him. There was a lot of ice, Hagen. Did you win it? Alright, we have Lingo versus a player that can most likely win his very first cup of the day. So he's feeling probably a bit nervous here. Lingo with a hat start. Nice line, however, through the plastic section. But Lingo gets that also very good. So he remains in the lead. He wobbles a little bit. But he also has more speed to work with. Lingo on a very good run so far. 
And I don't think that he will lose it in the ending. Keeps the grip. Different approaches here. Actually, uh, maybe a slight catch up, but of course not enough here. Linko will take that with a 0.46, which is faster than the time that I primal uh, so far got on this track. GG. GG.